But first, a Riverside woman accused of misusing thousands of dollars in charity funds is speaking out. Good evening, I'm Katie Houston. And I'm Mark Allen. The Ohio Attorney General says about $13,000 from the veterans charity known as A Dollar to Care were misused. Tonight, Alexa Ashwell spoke with the woman who led that organization. She is live with our top story. Alexa. Well, Mark Katie, Carrie Johnson started up a dollar to care back in late 2010. She tells me she takes full responsibility for the missing funds, but tells me it was not her who misused them. This is video of the first and now last patriotic freedom ride hosted by a dollar to care. Participants rode from Kettering to Riverside last year in an effort to help the charity, which raises money for families of soldiers charged with crimes during combat. Now, the Ohio Attorney General said the charity misused approximately 13,000 dollars specifically at liquor stores, red box kiosks and other personal transactions. Johnson didn't agree on this amount but said someone who worked under her is responsible. That has not been confirmed and no one has been charged with any crime. Johnson, however, must pay a $20,000 fine. She didn't want to show her face on camera but tells me she was happy to learn half of that amount will go towards her cause. To not be able to help my veterans and, and my troops was something that bothered me. Um, but when they told me that $10,000 of it was going to go back to those organizations, and I mean, it made me feel a little bit better. Also ordered Johnson can no longer collect charities anywhere throughout the state of Ohio. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News, working for you.